um, whenever you teach the Cyrillic alphabet in the online environment, is there anything special you need to do for online versus if you were face-to-face -face or even hybrid? How do you tackle the online element? Is this to me? Uh, yes, Heather, go ahead, please. Um, so first, um, so first I want to say like starting out, like designing this online course, you know, I had the privilege of being able to design this course thinking, what is this experience going to be like for the end user online? You know, I didn't start designing this, um, from, from the classroom perspective. It started like thinking about like, how is this going to be delivered and perceived online? And knowing that with Russian, you know, when they're starting out, they're dealing with a completely new alphabet. Um, so, so what do I do? First, the idea of writing and any sort of input on the student side is kind of put aside for a couple of weeks. And it's all just, um, it's all just passive uh, learning or receptive learning. So I don't know that this differs that much, um, like in the online environment versus like in person, uh, but I just focus on visuals, you know, giving them uh, usually videos or Quizlet or some kind of online flashcards that show them, you know, the characters and getting them to just recognize them visually. And um, I usually, give a lot of quizlets or canvas quizzes um, where they can identify, you know, a letter by its sound or by its English equivalent. Um, yeah, I don't know that there's anything in particular about the online mode uh, that you need to take into consideration when, when teaching the alphabet. No, thank you for that. And I, I can see how, yes, just the need of the repetition and the practice oh. is really critical at that stage. Thank you for sharing that. And then Shannon, same question to you. Whenever you teach students the Cyrillic alphabet, especially in the online environment, is there anything special you need to do there to help them be successful? I would agree with Heather that it's not that different for me uh, from a face-to-face -face class. Uh, and especially because my face-to-face -face class have become so technology enhanced anyway, they're really more like hybrid courses. And so my students use a lot of online uh, resources and tools uh, in the, even in a class that's technically considered face-to-face. -face. But one thing that came to my mind is that, um, and this kind of starts to get to the topic of handwriting, which is that um, one thing that I think actually works really well in, the online environment are tools like Zoom's annotation tools. I really love using those and I think students have fun with them too. And um, having a, when I uh, was teaching online, um, I started using an iPad uh, and just a kind of cheap, uh, not, a, not a fancy Apple Pencil or anything, but just kind of a cheap one, a stylus that would go with my iPad. And then if you show slides on Zoom, then you can turn on the annotation tools and you can write on the slide. And I, I found that a really useful tool for many things, but also including um, handwriting. And um, actually, I ended up then taking that to my face-to-face -face classes. I started um, after uh, when I wasn't teaching, uh, there was a while that I wasn't teaching fully online classes. Um, even though I wasn't teaching fully online classes for a while there, I was in my face-to-face -face class, I would connect to Zoom in my classroom with no one else except me, <laughs> but I would use my iPad to then annotate on the slides. And so that has been a tool that I have found really useful. Surprisingly, with my students in the live sessions, they actually love drawing characters using the stylus or using their trackpad, and it does help them retain. So I, I like that we're taking the tools that are a little bit more tech, and we're also applying them. For those of you who are teaching face-to-face -face or hybrid, we're taking that technology and bringing it into all the classrooms. I love that. Thank you for that. Um, actually, this might be a good segue into my next question since we're talking a little bit about um, handwriting and versus typing. 